Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now it is, we're doing Sky Chase Zone. About this zone, um, you can move around and Tails will follow you. Blah, blah, blah. Don't spin dash. Don't. If you do, you're gonna learn the hard way that spin dashing is a bad idea. Um, there is really no checkpoints in this, just mainly, like, get through it. It's not a difficult little deal, but it can be at times. Especially if you don't know what's coming up ahead, you know, stuff like that, so... Kind of be careful about your surroundings, I guess. Tails will always be there to try to catch you. That's the thing about this part. What the fuck? I wasn't paying attention. I already got hit. Oh yeah, sorry for my... Um, I don't know. I'm not really... Uh, I guess I tend to be. It just... When it comes to video games, I cuss a lot. But when it comes to, like, real life... I usually... Try to stop myself... Cussing. I don't cuss that often in real life. I bet a lot of people probably think that too. Now to my friend. Yes, I cuss with him all the time. Or, well, I cuss around him all the time. Cause if I'm comfortable with you, then yes, I'll cuss around you. If I'm not, then I won't. But then again, I'm comfortable with my my parents and stuff. Just I don't cuss around them because of... I don't know. It just it doesn't feel right, I guess. It wouldn't feel right enough to me. I'm guessing, but... Okay, the idea here is we want to get up there, and I think we just... No, no, we didn't. We didn't fuck it up. I don't think we did. Now, am I going to do Sky Chase Zone as just one act by itself, one video by itself? Maybe. I don't know yet. I haven't thought that through, because it's kind of a short little segment. That's all. It's just a segment, really. It's not a zone on its own, but I, I can... I can consider it. Or I can yeah, combine it together with another one. Or I'll figure it out. I'm, I'm sure I will. I'll probably control it by itself. Maybe. <laughs> For people who want organized consistency, here you go. Well, that's the end of this episode, guys. I'll see you next time. The next... Ah, screw it. Let's just keep going. Who gives a crap? I'll just consider... Uh... Sky Chase actually is kind of not a zone. It's just, like I said, a segment. So I'll consider that that and go on to Wing Fortress on my day. So yeah. Now Wing Fortress, it's um I don't know how to explain this level. It's just a big ass kinda roller coaster of difficulty, I'll tell you that right now. Few times is it easy, few times is it hard, you know, you never know. Son of a bitch! I knew that was gonna happen. I saw it coming. Exactly what I was talking about. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. Uh, <laughs> One thing you want is you want to get uh, this shield up here. Jump on this, jump on this, jump on this. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Now I'm going to safe state this area like a mofo and get this thing going here. Thank you, Sonic, for actually jumping towards the thing I want you to jump towards. Also, if those vibrant lights were not good enough and looked like Christmas, um, Christmas tree lights over here, you actually can touch them. Yay! <laughs> kind of funny how you can touch the fire here but yeah be careful on this level because it's got some problems now if you have a shield I figured this out on my own actually I kind of was curious and wanted to know and I guess it tends to actually be true you can skip half the level by doing this all you need to do is run into that with your shield if you still have a shield if you don't well then you're just as good as I am in this game so I guess that's probably something you get credit for and then you can skip about half the level. I think this was already intentional or not. I don't know for a fact. But fuck that. I'm not going to even take the... Oh, oh, jump in! Yes, okay. Chaos Emerald. Whoa, I actually can get a Chaos Emerald that Wing Fortress for fuck's sake. Alex, quit saying the F1 already. That's not funny anymore. You swear too much. I know, I know. No, okay, I'm going to turn it. No, here's what I'm going to do. This is what I do with, like, every Let's Play. If I get to a certain segment of the game, where it's, like, the end segment, it usually tends to end up in disaster, and I cuss just like nobody else. But at times, I actually I actually try, especially in Spiral, I try to not cuss. I try to utilize what the game's really going for, what, mar uh, what target market it really is, you know, what it was going for at the time of the game's development. Like, if it's rated E, then I'll try to keep it rated E, kind of kind of audience, you know, going here. I try to do respectful, you know, keeping up 
with the times, I guess you could say. You could say that, I guess. Trying to keep up the fact that, you know, I'm trying to tone it down a little bit, you know. Um, but with Sonic 2, oh god, with Sonic in general, it it's such a rage-inducing game. Uh, Mega Man definitely, on the other hand, is son of a fuck it. We lost. We lost this. There's too many damn bombs! No, there's too many damn bombs here. No, I have a, a lot of respect for people who don't actually intentionally cuss for that reason. Because I would not be able to hold myself back. Oh, God. The special things. Oh, yeah, speaking of uh, broken... Yesterday I was playing uh, that Sonic and... Son of a fucking asshole. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed or whatever, you know... It's called. Yeah, okay. I was playing that, and um, I guess what's saying? I don't give a shit anymore. Ah, uh, that was the weakest jump I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, I was playing that game. I got to the last one of the first cup or whatever it was. The first whatever, sunshine. Fuck, it's a color. I don't know. The Sonic Colors level, and BD Joe or whatever passed me super fast and it broke my damn game and so i'm like oh great bd joe broke my fucking game that's what i said too for some reason when it comes to things breaking now i don't really get upset this is kind of funny um the first time i got my blue screen of death the thing about whoa 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 i didn't know that was back there the first time i got my blue screen of death uh, my computer's actually broken, and I have to use an HDMI to connect it to my TV to even see the damn thing, so I thought that if it breaks, I'm screwed. I didn't really, I didn't really cry about it, but I'm like, oh god, no, please, no, 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 let this happen, man, come on. You're only, you're my only computer, I'm not gonna buy a new one, the hell with that. Not because I'm, well, poor as hell, but, you know, it's not like I'm gonna take the time to go buy a new damn computer. I'm <laughs> just saying. Like, this one has so much things on it, like, so much information on it, that it's hard to even think about keeping. I'm like, trying to lose my... all my stuff, you know. I would be pissed off. I was pissed. Um, yeah, I usually get blue screen again now. Yeah, it, it became to the fact of, like, I usually get it all the time now, so... It's not a big deal, I guess. Now, this part is such a pain in the butt. This is what I was hoping to not ever see in my Let's Play, but... Actually, we have to anyway. I was kind of hoping to see this so I, I can tell how far I've been, but other than that, this area is kind of a... Um, at first, when I did this level, I hated this part. I could not do this for the life of me. I don't know what was wrong with me. I suck at this game. I know that to be true. But uh, for some reason, these goddamn RNG spikes... No, this... I don't know. This laser is not hard anymore. It was at first. I'm like, oh my god, I can't do this. This is just too hard for me. It really was. It really was too hard. Whoa, rocket ship. Oh god. Oh, I thought he was going to jump off and kill himself. I would have been so mad. Sonic, don't you do anything stupid, Sonic. Sonic, don't you do anything stupid, Sonic. This, this part right here I find kind of funny. The rocket ship is tilted to the right, right? And it's going up at a vertical angle. Sort of. There's no rockets to help it go up. It's just sideways. He should be going to the right. Not... Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I don't even care. It's just... It's funny to look at. It really is. And now we're going to space. And we're a hedgehog. <sighs> if Sonic Colors wasn't enough, I wouldn't tell you what it is. Because... <laughs> this game definitely does... Death Egg Zone. Oh, son of a... Okay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be done here. So, this is the end of the episode. I'm glad you all enjoyed. It wasn't as long as I thought it was. I'll probably just call it Wing Fortress. You know, keep Sky Chase and Wing Fortress together. Uh, maybe I might just name them together. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you next time in Death Egg Zone, where we take on uh, pretty much the Death Egg. Kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah. Now you all know why this is my favorite game, because Star Wars was like one of my favorite movies back when I was a kid, but eh. Who knows? Anyway, 
See you all then. Take care, everybody.